All right, you two. Um, this is the horse after the peel disc. They do sort of look like a naked mole rat model type thing. Around the tail, everything. Um, up in the face features, the hooves. And in total, it took that. And the smaller the horse, the easier. So we are going to paint the face features. So set up. I just got the nail polishes I'm going to be using. Yeah. Okay. One sec. Let me get my nail polish back. So I'm going to paint a brown horse. I do use nail polish. A brown horse. That's sort of reddish if I think about it. Um, so, anyways, actually I think I'm going to paint a Palomino horse, so, a Palomino with white blaze. It doesn't really matter what nail polish you have, just, it's best to have. It doesn't matter what paint you have, it can be acrylic paint, just, this is how I paint mine. Okay, so, take it, and all I do is simple. I take the horse's face and my paint and I make his blaze. So it honestly isn't as hard as it seems to be. I mean it is kind of challenging especially filming this. And yes, you are going to have to put a ton of layers in the horse's face. Because it doesn't always come out the best. I think it's actually going to be buckskin. So, you want to, the first thing you want to do is paint the face. The face. There we go. Uh, and you want to paint any features you're going to have on the horse as the first thing. I'm going to take a little bit of a thicker paint and paint down his forehead. Like if you do get any nail polish on their eyes, just wipe it off. It's not that big of a deal. It'll come straight off if you take it off right away. Alright, and um, this is my horse's blaze. So, it's pretty good. Um, next we're going to do... The, um, the forelock. Forelock and the ears. And, yeah, I do use an unrealistic color for the ears and the tail and stuff. Um, so, where did my black just go? I swear you saw it. Hang on one sec. It's right here. Okay. And we're gonna paint the forelock. Actually, I probably shouldn't do black. Since he, after all, does have a white tail. <laughs> Um, now what I should test on what nail polish looks like on the tail. Hang on, one sec. What is a horse and not in love with? Sure. No, not too great. Well, actually, it's not that bad. Alright, I found out nail polish does not look bad on the main. So, we're going... To, nah, I don't think I'm going to paint the tail. So never mind. Um, I don't really want to. But um, so let's take our white color, whichever one we're using, whichever white we're using. And for this white, I'm going to use this. Alright, so the forelock is pretty simple. You take your paint, color around the hole in the hole and everything so that it looks nice and thick in the hole and then paint over the blaze yeah and sometimes you'll have to repaint the hole because sometimes it'll pop and stuff so yeah just completely do that and next we're going to make the mane, which the mane is pretty easy. And since it's a horse that's laying down, or like it's next down, you want to make it 
as if it actually is happening. So I'm just going to take the mane and slightly point it towards its head. Because if their head is down, their mane's going to be slightly pointed towards their head. Correct? Or correct? <laughs> Sorry. Um, and you see, that's what it's turning out to be like so far. I'm not finished. Um, jeez, ah! I'm gonna like break this thing. Okay, anyways, um, so let's continue painting the main real quick. Alright, next we're gonna paint the ears. Oh, and make sure you don't forget to do the other side. Because I'm a little look stupid. Next we're gonna do the ears and the nose. This one you have to be positive to be careful on. I'm using a typical sized brush that I've used for all the other ones, but this is a lot harder. So here's ear one. And I just take it down. Ah! Shoot! One second. Okay, ready? Here I come again. Okay, so now we're going to take the ear and we're going to paint straight on it. Like that. It's not too challenging. It's not simple, but it's not too challenging. And then we're going to take the nose. Little nostrils. And just dab and do them. Like that. I'm going to get the other one. So the horse's face is going to turn out to look like this. Let me add the Palomino color. And you guys don't have to watch this since you're going to watch it on a different horse. But um, let me add the Palomino color into its face real quickly so you can see what that looks like. Around the eyes is not that challenging. You just take your brush and go around the eyes if you get it in the eye. It's like the eye off, see? And make sure you make your paint nice and thick. Make it look like paint. Even if the horse's color is actually a palomino-ish color, you still want to paint it palomino so that it looks like you painted it. And the lighter the color, honestly, especially if they blend in like this one is, it's better because... I mean, you can't see nail polish streaks. Alright, and painting around the ears is a little challenging to not get it on the pink, if, especially if you're using a darker color, so be careful around the ears. Alright, and um, watch part four, I believe, for um, the actual painting of the body and some more body details on the actual body and not the just the face.